These are the secret words which the living Jesus spoke and which Didymus Judas Thomas wrote down. And he said, Whoever finds the interpretation of these sayings will not taste death. As for the one who seeks, let him continue to seek until he finds. When he finds, he will become agitated. When he becomes agitated, he will be astounded, and he will reign over the all. If the ones who lead you should say to you, See, the kingdom is in heaven, then the birds of heaven will precede you. If they say to you, It is in the sea, then the fish will precede you. But the kingdom is inside of you, and it is outside of you. When you know yourselves, then you will become known, and you will understand that you are the sons of the living Father. But if you will not know yourselves, you dwell in poverty, and it is you who are that poverty. The man old in days will not hesitate to ask a small child seven days old about the place of life, and he will live. For many who are first will become last, and they will become one and the same. Recognize what is before your face, and that which is hidden from you will be revealed. For there is nothing hidden that will not become revealed. Do you want us to fast? And how shall we pray? Shall we give alms? What kind of diet shall we observe? Do not tell lies, and do not do what you hate. For all things are revealed before heaven. For there is nothing hidden which will not become manifest, and nothing covered will remain without being uncovered. Blessed is the lion which the man will eat, so that the lion becomes man, and cursed is the man whom the lion will eat, so that the lion becomes a man. The man is like a wise fisherman who threw his net into the sea and drew it up from the sea. It was full of small fish. Among them the wise fisherman found a good, large fish. He threw all the small fish back into the sea and without much trouble chose the large fish. Whoever has ears to hear, let him hear. See, the sower went out, took a handful of seeds and scattered them. Some fell on the road, and the birds came and gathered them up. Others fell on the rock, and they did not take root in the soil, and did not yield ears. And others fell on the thorns. They choked the seed, and worms ate them. Still, Others fell on the soil that was good, and this produced good fruit. For it bore sixty per measure, and a hundred and twenty per measure. I have cast fire upon the world, and see, I am watching it until it blazes. This heaven will pass away and the one above it will pass away too. The dead are not living, and the living will not die. In the days when you ate what is dead, you made it into something alive. When you come to exist in the light, what will you do? On the day you were one, you became two. But when you become two, what will you do? We know that you will be going from us. Who is going to be our leader? 
whatever point you come to, you should go to James the Righteous. On his account, heaven and earth came into existence. Compare me to someone else and tell me whom I am like. You are like a righteous angel. You are like a wise philosopher. Teacher, my mouth is entirely incapable of saying whom you are like. I am not your teacher. Since you have imbibed, you have become drunk on the bubbling spring which I have measured out. What did Jesus say to you? Were I tell you even one of these things which he told me, you would pick up stones and throw them at me, and the fire would come out of the stones and consume you. If you fast, you will cause yourself to sin. If you pray, you will be self-condemned. And if you give alms, you will inflict harm on your spirits. When you go into each land and walk in the districts, if they should receive you, eat what they put before you, and heal the sick among them. For what goes into your mouth will not defile you, but what comes out of your mouth is what will defile you. When you see him who was not born of woman, lie prostrate on your faces and worship him. He is your father. Perhaps men think that it is peace which I have come to cast upon the world. They do not know that it is division I have come to cast upon the earth, fire, sword, and war. For there will be five in a house, and it will be a matter of three against two, and two against three, father against son, and son against father and they will stand as a solitary. I shall give you what no eye has seen, and what no ear has heard, and what no hand has touched, and what has never entered into the human heart. Tell us what sort of end we will have. So, You have discovered the beginning with the result that you are now seeking the end? For the place where the beginning is, there will the end be as well. Blessed is he who makes his stand in the beginning, for he will know the end and will not taste death. Blessed is he who came into being before coming into being, If you become my disciples and listen to my words, these stones will serve you. Indeed, there are five trees for you in paradise. They remain undisturbed summer and winter, and their leaves do not fall. Whoever would know them will not taste death. Tell us, what is the kingdom of heaven like? It is like a mustard seed which is smaller than all seeds. But when it falls on ploughed soil, it produces a large plant and becomes a shelter for the birds of the sky. Whom are your disciples like? They are like children who have made their homes in a field which is not theirs. When the owners of the field come, they will say, grant our field back to us. They then disrobe before them in order to grant their field, that is, to give it back to them. For this reason, I say that if the owner of a house knows that a thief is coming, he will start watching before he comes and will not let him get through into the house of his domain to carry away his goods. 
Keep watch then against the world. Gird up your loins with great strength, lest the robbers find a way to come to you. For you will find the advantage you are looking for. Let there be a man of understanding among you. When the produce ripened, he came swiftly with a sickle in his hand and reaped it. Whoever has ears to hear, let him hear. These little ones who are being nursed are like those who enter the kingdom. So then, should we, as little ones, enter the kingdom? When you make the two into one, and when you make the inside to be like the outside, and the outside like the inside, and the above like the below, and when you make the male and the female one and the same, with the result that the male is no longer male, nor the female female. And when you form eyes in place of an eye, a hand in place of a hand, a foot in place of a foot, and a likeness in place of a likeness, then at that time you will enter the kingdom. I shall choose you, one from out of a thousand, and two from out of ten thousand, and they shall stand as one and the same. Show us the place where you are, since it is necessary for us to seek it. Whoever has ears to hear, let him hear. There is light within a man of light, and he sheds light upon the whole world. If he does not give forth light, it is darkness indeed. Love your brother like your soul. Guard him like the pupil of your eye. You see the speck in your brother's eye, but you do not see the beam in your own eye. When you cast the beam out of your own eye, then you will be able to see clearly to cast the speck from your brother's eye. If you do not fast with respect to the world, you will not find the kingdom. If you do not observe the Sabbath as a Sabbath, you will not see the Father. I took my stand in the midst of the world, and I appeared to them in flesh. I found that they were all drunk. I did not find any of them thirsty. And my soul became distressed for the sons of men, because in their hearts they are blind, and they do not see. For they were empty as they came into the world, and they are still empty as they are seeking to leave the world. But as for now they are drunk, when they shake off their wine, then they will repent. If the flesh came into being on account of the Spirit, it is a marvel. But if the Spirit came into being because of the body, it is a marvel of marvels. I am truly astonished at how this great wealth has come to settle in this poverty. In the place where there are three gods, they are gods. In the place where there are two or one, I am with him. No prophet is received in his own village, nor does a physician heal those who know him. A city built 
sit on a high mountain and strengthened cannot fall, and it cannot be hidden. What you will hear in your ears, both of them, this is what you are to proclaim from your rooftops. For no one lights a lamp and puts it under a bushel, nor does he put it in a hidden place. Rather, he sets it on a lampstand, so that anyone who enters and goes out will see its light. If a blind man leads a blind man, they will both fall into a pit. It is not possible for someone to enter into the house of the strong man and forcibly take his things unless he binds his hands. Then he can loot his house. Do not worry from morning until evening and from evening until morning about what you will wear. On what day will you be revealed to us? And on what day will we see you? When you undress without being ashamed and when you pick up your garments and put them under your feet, like little children and trample them, then you will see the Son of the Living One and you will not be afraid. Many times you have desired to hear these words that I say to you, and you don't have anyone else to hear them from. There will be days ahead when you will look for me, but not find me. The Pharisees and the scribes have taken the keys of knowledge and hidden them. They have not entered, and they have not allowed those who wish to enter to do so. But as for you, be as wise as serpents, and as innocent as doves. A grapevine has been planted outside of the Father, but since it is feeble, it will be uprooted and destroyed. The one who has something in his hand will be given more. And as for he who has nothing, even the little he has will be taken from him. Be passers-by. Who are you that you say these things to us? You do not know who I am from what I say to you. Instead, you have become like the Jews, for they either love the tree and hate its fruit, or love the fruit and hate the tree. Whoever speaks against the Father will be forgiven, and whoever speaks against the Son will be forgiven. However, Whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, neither on earth nor in heaven. Grapes are not harvested from thorn bushes, nor are figs gathered from thistles, for they do not give forth fruit. A good man brings forth good from his storehouse, an evil man brings forth evil things from his evil storehouse, which is in the heart. He also says evil things, for out of the fullness of the heart he brings forth evil things. Of those born of women, 
from Adam until John the Baptist, there is no one more exalted than John the Baptist. At least, his gaze should not be cast down in his presence. Still I have said, whichever one of you becomes a child will know the kingdom and will become more exalted than John. It is impossible for a man to mount two horses or for him to draw two bows. It is impossible for a servant to serve two masters. If he does, he will honor the one and insult the other. A man does not drink old wine and then suddenly desire to drink new wine and new wine is not put in old wineskins, or else they will burst. And old wine is not put into a new wineskin, lest it ruin it. An old patch is not sewn on a new garment, because tearing would occur. If two make peace with each other in this one house, they will say to the mountain, Move away, and it will move. Blessed are the solitaries and the elect, because you will find the kingdom. Indeed, you are from it, and you will return to it. If they say to you, Where did you come from? Say to them, We came from the light, from the place where the light came into existence by itself, became established, and was revealed through their image. If they say to you, Are you the ones? Say, We are its children, the elect of the living Father, if they ask you, What then is the sign of your Father in you? Say to them, It is agitation and rest. On what day will the rest of the dead occur? And when will the new world come? What you are waiting for has come already, but you do not know it. Twenty-four prophets spoke in Israel, and they all spoke through you. You have neglected the one living in your presence, and have merely spoken of the dead. Is circumcision useful or not? If it were useful, their father would have begotten them already circumcised in their mother. But the circumcision of truth, which is in spirit, has become entirely useful. Blessed are the poor, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. He who does not hate his father and mother cannot become a disciple to me. And he who does not hate his brothers and sisters and take up his cross in my way will never be worthy of me. Whoever has come to understand the world has found a corpse. And as for the one who has found a corpse, of such the world is not worthy. The kingdom of the Father is like a man having good seed. His enemy came at night and sowed weed in with good seed. The man did not permit them to pull up the weeds. He said to them, Don't do it, lest while seeking to pull up the weeds, you pull up the wheat with them. 
for on the day of the harvest the weeds will appear, and they will be pulled up and burned. Blessed is the man who has toiled and found life. Look at the living one while you are alive, lest you die and seek to see him, but are not able to do so. That man has encircled the lamb. He has done so in order that he might kill and eat it. As long as it is alive, he will not eat it. Rather, he will wait until he has killed it, and it has become a corpse. He cannot do it any other way. So it is to be with you. Seek a place for yourselves in rest, so that you don't become a corpse and be eaten. Two will rest on a bed, one will die, the other will live. Who are you, man, now that you have come up on my couch and have eaten from my table? I myself am he who exists from the equality. I was given some of the things of my father. I am your disciple. For this reason, I say, if he is destroyed, he will be filled with light. But if he becomes divided, he will be filled with darkness. I tell my mysteries only to those who are worthy of my mysteries. Do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. There once was a rich man who had much money. He said, I shall take advantage of the money I have, so that I might sow, reap, plant. Then I will fill my storehouses with produce, all with this end, that I shall need nothing. These were the thoughts of his heart, but that very night he died. He who has ears, let him hear. A man had some guests, and when he had prepared the dinner, he sent his servant to invite the guests. He went to the first one. He said to him, My master invites you. I have some business with some merchants. They are coming to me this evening. I must go and put in my orders. I would like to be excused from the dinner. He went to another and said to him, My master invites you. I have purchased a house and I am obligated for the day. I shall not have time to come. He went to another and said to him, My master invites you. My friend is going to be married and I am to prepare the dinner. I shall not be able to come. I would like to be excused from the dinner. He went to another and said to him, My master invites you. I have purchased a farm, and I am about to go to collect the rent payment. I am not be able to come. I would like to be excused. The servant returned and said to his master, Those whom you invited to the dinner have asked to be excused. Go to the outer lying parts to the streets and bring in anyone you happen to find so that they may dine. Buyers and merchants will not enter the places of my father. A good man owned a vineyard. He let it out to tenant farmers so that they might work it and he would collect the produce from them. He sent his servant, so the tenants might give him the produce of the vineyard. They seized his servant, then beat him, 
Had they done any more, they would have killed him. The servant went and told his master. The master said, Perhaps he did not recognize them. He sent another servant. The tenants beat this one likewise. Then the master sent his son and said, Perhaps they will show respect to my son. Because these tenants knew that this was the heir to the vineyard, they seized and killed him. Whoever has ears, let him hear. Show me the stone that the builders have rejected. It is the cornerstone. If one who knows the all turns into destitution, he himself is destitution in regards to the whole place. Blessed are you when they hate you and persecute you. Wherever you have been persecuted, no place will be found. Blessed are they who have been persecuted in their hearts. They have known the Father in truth. Blessed are the hungry, for the stomach of him who desires will be filled. What you have within you will save you if you give birth to it. What you do not have within you will kill you. That is, if you do not have it within you. I shall destroy this house, and no one will be able to build it. Tell my brothers to divide my father's belongings with me! Who, man? Who has made me a divider? I am not a divider, am I? The harvest is certainly great, but the laborers are few. Ask the Lord, therefore, to send out laborers into the harvest. O oh Lord, there are many around the cistern. But there is nothing in the cistern. There are many who are standing at the door, but it is the solitaries who will enter the bridal chamber. The kingdom of the Father is like a merchant who, having an inventory of goods, discovered a pearl. This merchant was cunning. He sold his inventory and bought the pearl alone. Likewise, you must seek his unfailing and enduring treasure, where no moth comes near to eat and no worm destroys. It is I who am the light which is above all of them. It is I who am the All. From me the All came forth, and unto me the All has reached. Split some wood, I am there. Lift up the stone, and there you will find me. Why have you come out into the desert? To see a reed shaken by the wind? and to see a man clothed in fine garments, like your kings and great ones? Upon these are the fine garments, and they will not be able to recognize the truth. Blessed are the womb that bore you, and the breasts that nurtured you. Blessed are those who have heard the word of the Father, and have obeyed it in truth. For there will be days when you will say, 
Blessed are the womb that has not given birth, and the breasts that have not given milk. Whoever has come to understand the world has found the body. As for the one who has found the body, he is superior to the world. Let him who has increased in wealth become king, and let him who has power repudiate it. Whoever is near me is near the fire, and he who is far from me is also far from the kingdom. The images are revealed to man, but the light within them remains hidden in the image of the Father's light. He will be revealed, but his image will stay hidden by means of his light. When you see your likeness, you are glad. But when you see your images, which came into being before you, and which neither die nor are revealed, how much you will have to bear! Adam came into being from great power and great wealth. Still, he was not worthy of you, for if he had been worthy, he would not have tasted death. Foxes have their holes, and the birds have their nests. But the Son of Man has no place to lay his head and rest. How wretched is the body that is dependent upon a body, and how wretched is the soul that is dependent on these two! The angels and the prophets will come to you, and they will give you what already belongs to you, and you also give them what you have, and say to yourselves, When will they come and take what belongs to them? Why do you wash the outside of the cup? Do you not understand that he who has made the inside is the one who made the outside? Come unto me, for my yoke is easy and my lordship is gentle, and you will find rest for yourselves. Tell us who you are, so that we may believe you. You put to test the face of the sky and of the earth, but you have not recognized him who is before you, nor do you know how to test this moment. Seek and you will find. But these things you asked about in former days, things which I did not tell you at the time, now I do desire to tell you, but you are not seeking after it. Do not give what is sacred to dogs, lest they throw it on the dung heap. Do not throw the pearls to swine, lest they... The one who seeks will find, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. If you have money, lend it not with interest. Instead, give to someone from whom you will not get anything back. 
The kingdom of the Father is like a certain woman. She took a little leaven, hid it in dough, and made it into large loaves. He who has ears, let him hear. The kingdom of the Father is like a woman who was carrying a jar full of meal. She was walking on the road and was still some distance from home when the handle on the jar broke. The meal emptied out on the road behind her. She did not know. She had observed no accident. When she arrived at her house, she put the jar down and found that it was empty. The kingdom of the Father is like a certain man who wanted to kill a great man. In his house he drew his sword and put it through the wall in order to find out whether his arm could prevail. Then he killed the great man. Your brothers and your mother are standing outside. Those who do the will of my father are my brothers and my mother. It is they who will enter the kingdom of my father. Caesar's men require taxes from us. Give Caesar what is Caesar's. Give God what is God's and give me what is mine. Whoever does not hate his father and his mother in my way cannot become a disciple to me. And whoever does not love his father and mother in my way cannot become a disciple to me. For my mother, but my true mother gave me life. Woe to the Pharisees, for they are like a dog asleep in the manger of oxen, for he does not eat, nor does he let the oxen eat. Blessed is the man who knows where the brigands will come in. That way he can get up, muster his domain, and gird his loins before the break-in. Come, let us pray today and let us fast. So then, what is the sin I have committed? Or how have I been defeated? But when the bridegroom leaves the bridal chamber, then let them fast and pray. The one who knows the father and the mother will be called the son of a prostitute. When you make the two one, you will become the sons of man. And when you say, mountain move away, it will move away. The kingdom is like a shepherd man who had a hundred sheep. One who was the largest went astray. He left the ninety-nine and searched for that one until he found it. After having so troubled himself, he said to the sheep, I love you more than the ninety-nine. The one who drinks from my mouth will become like me. I myself will become he, and certain things which are hidden will be revealed to him. The kingdom is like a man who had a treasure hidden in his field, and he did not know it. After his death, he left it to his son. The son did not know about this. 
Once he inherited the field, he sold it. Now the buyer was plowing and found the treasure. He started lending money at interest to whomever he wished. As for him who finds the world and becomes rich, let him repudiate the world. The heavens and the earth will be rolled up in your presence, and the one who is alive because of the living one will not see death. Jesus says, Whoever finds himself is greater than the world, is he not? Woe to the flesh that depends on the soul, and woe to the soul that depends on the flesh. When will the kingdom come? It will not come by waiting. Nor will it be a matter of saying, here it is, or there it is. Instead, the kingdom of the Father is spread out across the earth, and men see it not. Let Mary leave us, for women are not worthy of the life. See, I myself shall lead her so as to make her male, so that she herself will become a living spirit who is like you males. For every woman who will make herself male will enter the kingdom of heaven.